Boom Overture is a proposed supersonic passenger airliner designed to bring back supersonic travel for civilians, aiming to travel at Mach 1.7, approximately 1,100 mph, 1,800 kmh. It is faster than the Concorde, but slower than the initial Mach 2.0 plans. The aircraft will seat between 64 and 80 passengers, depending on the configuration chosen by the airline, and has a range of 4,250 nautical miles, 7,170 kilons, making it suitable for long-haul routes and faster connections between distant cities. Boom Supersonic, the company behind the Overture, is developing the aircraft with the first flight expected in 2026 and commercial introduction targeted for 2029. They are building a special Overture Super Factory in Greensboro, North Carolina, for final assembly and testing. The Martin Jetpack, a single-person vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, aircraft, was developed by the New Zealand-based Martin Aircraft Company. Although it garnered significant attention during its development phase, it never reached the commercial market. Unlike a true jetpack utilising jet propulsion, it relied on two duct fans powered by a gasoline engine to provide lift. Designed to carry one pilot strapped into a seated position with controls for manoeuvring, the Martin jetpack represented an interesting concept in personal flight that hasn't come to fruition as of now. While its development seems to be discontinued, the idea of personal VTOL devices continues to spark innovation in the field of electric and autonomous aviation. Electric VTOL vehicles are a rapidly developing area, with several companies working on passenger and cargo EV aircraft, potentially offering a more practical and sustainable solution for future personal transportation. The Midnight Fiver VTOL is an exciting development in the world of electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL aircraft designed to carry one pilot and up to four passengers, offering a comfortable transportation option for small groups. Powered by electric motors and batteries, the Midnight promises a quieter and more sustainable alternative to traditional helicopters or gas-powered aircraft. The aircraft utilizes tilt propeller technology for both vertical takeoff and landing as well as forward flight, providing greater flexibility and maneuverability compared to some EV toll designs. Archer, the company developing the Midnight, targets a range of up to 100 miles, 160 km, and a cruising speed of 150 mpunches, 240 km to h, making it suitable for short distance urban commutes or regional travel. The Pivotal Blackfly is an electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL personal air vehicle designed for private ownership. Developed by Opener Aero, which rebranded to Pivotal in October 2023, the Blackfly uses electric motors powered by batteries, making it an eco-friendly transportation option compared to traditional gas-powered aircraft. Designed to carry one pilot, the Blackfly offers a personalized flying experience with its unique design featuring tandem wings, two sets of wings arranged one behind the other, and eight propellers for lift and maneuverability. While detailed information on the Blackfly's official range and speed is currently limited, it includes an enclosed canopy for pilot comfort and protection from the elements. Higher speeds might be possible outside the USA, and these numbers could improve as development progresses. The Vela Alpha Evtol Air Taxi, a piloted four-passenger electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, is being developed by the Indonesian company Vea Prima. The Alpha Evtol offers both purely electric and hybrid electric propulsion systems within a single configuration, making it highly adaptable to various market needs while remaining affordable. In purely electric mode, the Alpha EV Toll has a range of 100 kilometers, 62 miles, and in hybrid mode, the range increases to 300 kilometers, 186 miles. Designed for urban air mobility, particularly for short distance trips within cities, 
the Alpha EV toll is claimed to reduce travel time between Jakarta's Central Business District CBD, and Jakarta International Airport to just 8 minutes, compared to the hour-long car trip and the 44-minute train ride. The future of racing is here, and it's flying. The Airspeeder Crude MK4 is the world's first crude flying racing car. Imagine a sleek, hydrogen-powered machine that looks like a Formula One car mated with a drone. That's the MK4. This flying machine rockets from 0 to 225 mph in just 30 seconds. But it's not all about speed. The MK4 is built for tight turns and low-altitude races piloted by skilled daredevils. This is motorsport reimagined, taking place high above the ground. Developed in Adelaide, Australia, the Airspeeder MK4 is a game-changer, a testament to innovation in electric vehicle technology, and a glimpse into the future of racing. Get ready for the roar of the engines, or maybe more like the whir of propellers because the Airspeeder revolution has begun. The Jetson One Flying Vehicle is an all-electric, single-pilot, recreational vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, aircraft designed for fun and ease of use. It runs on electric motors, making it a quiet and sustainable choice compared to traditional gas-powered aircraft. The Jetson One is designed for anyone to fly with minimal training, utilizing a simple joystick and throttle control system, and boasting features like auto-hover and emergency landing functionality. Safety is a priority for Jetson. The One includes a race car-inspired safety cell, ballistic parachute, and a redundant battery propulsion system for added security. Representing an exciting step towards accessible personal flight, the Jetson One focuses on ease of use, safety and electric power, potentially revolutionizing recreational flying in the future. Asker unveiled a fully functional prototype of their flying car, the Asker A5, at the Consumer Electronics Show, CES, in January 2023. The A5 uses a combination of electric batteries and a range extender engine, allowing for both electric driving and extended flying range. Features like six independent rotors, a ballistic parachute and a safety-optimized design prioritize passenger well-being. You can drive the Asker A5 on roads like a regular car and then unfold its wings to take off for a flight, offering great flexibility for transportation. The Asker A5 represents a major step towards making flying cars a reality. With its combination of driving and flying capabilities and focus on safety, making it a compelling concept for future transportation. Lyft Aircraft is a company developing a personal electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, aircraft. Their flagship product, the Hexa Passenger Drone, is claimed to be the world's first of its kind for personal use, targeting the individual consumer market as a potential alternative to traditional transportation for short-distance trips. Using electric motors for both vertical takeoff and landing, similar to a drone, Lyft is currently offering a Founders Series with a limited number of Hexa units available for purchase, and they are taking registrations for a waitlist to be among the first to fly their EV toll. The Lyft aircraft Hexa represents a promising development in the field of personal EV tolls, with the potential to revolutionize transportation, though there are still hurdles to overcome before it becomes a mainstream mode of travel. <laughs>